Bitcoin's just the harder money. And hard is in reference to how hard it is to create more of it. And so how hard is it to create more dollars? Seemingly not very difficult. How hard is it to create more penthouses in New York City? Harder than dollars, but not impossible. How hard is it to create more Bitcoin? The only asset that's ever existed where it is impossible. So in theory, it should appreciate against everything given time. You're an investor in the crypto market, and I'm so curious how you're thinking about DeFi and adoption trends. The inter information just came out with a pretty explosive headline talking about Andreessen Horowitz versus Jack Dorsey and a crypto, quote unquote, holy war that is brewing. OK, I think that's a little dramatic. Having said that, <laughs> um, it is entertaining. Um, I think DeFi is fascinating because it changes the paradigm of who controls and who owns companies and who, who operates them. And so I do think there is an opportunity to expand the aperture of how these companies are run and created. I also think we're only in the first inning of DeFi. We really are seeing tons of experimentation, whether it be in infrastructure or even in vertical products, but you haven't really seen use cases come to fruition and build significant scale companies where you're seeing okay. these broader use cases used in consumers day in day out lives. But the experimentation right. that's out there is pretty exciting. And I think it, along with the rest of the crypto market and the FinTech market continues yeah. to show the level of interest in investing in this area of, uh, of the United States economy. Magical things will happen. It's something called blockchain technology, and it just might change your life. And they really could compete with, if not even take down, the Facebooks and the Googles and the Amazons. Some critics say you kind of hurt the community. What's your response to that? This innovation has enabled a lot of criminals and scammers. But basically, looking at it now, you, you lie to us. Forget all the hype. We'll explore the true potential of this new invention. See who is already using it and go deep into a secret bunker that holds billions in Bitcoin. And we cannot talk too much about it because it's uh, pretty secret what is down there, right? If Bitcoin succeeds, it will be at least a million dollars per coin. We'll learn lessons from the past and meet those building the future. But there are those who want to kill it. Join with me in introducing a bill to outlaw cryptocurrency so that we nip this in the bud. Control it. Next year, people are going to start seeing that we have hundreds of patents and everything changes. Or change the world with it. Welcome to Ground Zero in the battle for the future of the internet. Web 3.0. They wanted a science fiction dream. What they actually did was build forthcoming disaster. A lot of people were not willing to learn and were not willing to admit they were wrong. The idiots. In Big Ideas, we describe this by uh, using uh, the term revolutions. There are three revolutions taking place simultaneously right now. One is a money revolution. One is a, a financial services revolution. And one is a next generation internet revolution. Uh, so on the money revolution, Bitcoin and Ether to some extent, but Bitcoin, surely it is the most secure network out there, is the first, and each one of these words is really important, the first global, private, decentralized uh, monetary system ever invented. And it is going to have profound ramifications. Just ask the people in El Salvador. And uh, recently, President Bukele of El Salvador uh, had a conversation with President Erdogan of Turkey because they are going through a currency crisis. And so I think the emerging markets are going to adopt this kind of monetary system increasingly because their own monetary systems are uh, very dependent often on the dollar or on the euro or someone else who does not control uh, the population they want to they they would prefer not to be dependent on politicians this doesn't involve politicians uh, so that's the monetary revolution and we think that um, it's going to proliferate faster uh, emerging markets are very interested 